I'll show you, and then I'll just tell you what the name is. So the, here's the position. Uh, again, we have the patient come to the side of the table, just right at the edge. It's going to be a subaxilla here, right down by her ankle. And this hand contact is actually known as the chicken choker contact. <laughs> and the reason we call it that is because those of you who grew up on a farm know that the way you catch a chicken is like this. You run around until you get the chicken by the neck, and then you twist its little head off. And that's when mom or grandma says, go out and get a chicken. That's how you do it. So it's the same contact. I've got it right here. All right? So now I can do my internal external rotation. This hand is going to cup the greater trochanter. So heel in, hip out, heel out, hip in. So when I take her this way, heel out, guess what kind of mo rotation I'm doing? Hip. External. Internal. 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 Heel out, hip in. Spring, spring. I'm going to take her out, take out all the slack, and then spring, spring. So this hand is 50% pushing. This hand is 50% rotating. Then I'm going to go the other way. And I'm, I'm actually going to kneel on the table. So now heel in, hip out, spring, spring. So again, I'm rotating, take out the slack, add a little bit more, spring, spring. And the goal here now is to test for, well, heel in, hip out, external rotation. Okay. Let's go right into S to I, S to I inflection. She's already at the side of the bench. I'm going to go into a two-line kneeling stance. My outside knee is up. I'm going to dry, drop my shoulder in the back of her popliteal fossa, just like we did at the glenohumeral joint. Right? You might remember S to I inflection. Same concept, so I'm going to just traction your knee over my shoulder here. I'm going to use this basket contact. I'm just going to have you put your, your hand over your groin. All right, here's my contact right down to the joint line. I'm going to traction her laterally. Add some counterforce by leaning forward and taking out the slack inferiorly, and then it's spring, spring. Does that bother at all? Yep. Enter discomfort? Good. Try the other side. Did you come up to 90 with that? Yep. Uh, you, you know, start at 70, come up to 90. So <laughs> lateral, come up to 90, spring, spring. Yeah. So internal external rotation first. Here's my contact, right hand below the knee joint here, locked in subaxilla here. Contact on the greater trochanter, heel out, hip. Fill in the blank. Heel out, hip, yeah. in, yeah. internal rotation, spring, spring. Heel in, hip, out, out. out external rotation, spring, spring. Any problem there? Yeah. And here we go. S to I, inflection. Drop back to 70. Basket contact. Traction her laterally to open up the joint. A little bit of counter force, spring, spring. Anything there? No. Good. On internal, external rotation, are you um, springing with uh, like the, bot, the hand on the greater choke? Yes, 50-50. Okay. So 50% from the upper body and my contact by the distal femur, 50% on the greater choke cannon. Okay. So it's push, push, pull, pull. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Push, push, pull, pull at the same time. Well, it's push, push, so when the heel comes out, I'm going to push with the heel of my hand to help internal rotation. Okay. And then I come back the other way, now I'm going to pull on the greater choke cannon. So heel in, hip out for external rotation.